Really creepy, like someone was watching me or something. Like most college students, Sandy Arroyo uses Facebook. She has hundreds of friends on the site and keeps her profile private, or so she thought. I was really, really weirded out. A friend told Arroyo someone was impersonating her on Facebook. And not only that, but they were using a page with information and pictures to meet guys. I kind of felt like I had a stalker in some sense because they had my pictures on their profile. You know, not just their profile picture, like they put like, hey, going out with my friends. Arroyo contacted Facebook and after a week, the page came down. However, it still haunts her because she has no idea who impersonated her. This person tried adding me, maybe someone um, Supposed to be as someone else. I added them and then they got a hold of my pictures. You can't assume that everybody you're interacting with on the internet is a friend and, and going to treat you properly. Um, you have to be cautious. John Rittenauer is a defense attorney who works with internet law. He says online impersonations are happening more often. Creating these things today with the internet presence as it is, you can, you can use it to do almost anything. For victims, the law is on your side. In Texas, online impersonation is punishable by fines or prison time. Problem is, how do you catch a cyber criminal? You have people now uh, who can sit in, in Europe or in Asia someplace uh, and pretend that they are a citizen of Plano, Texas. Rittenauer says if you're victimized, contact the website operators. Law enforcement can then track IP addresses or emails back to the computer the impersonator used. But be prepared for a challenge. Tracking that stuff back can be very difficult and expensive. Bottom line, be aware of what you post. Anything that has ever been put out there on the internet is there. As for Arroyo, she says she's learned a lesson and hopes other people take note. Don't add people you don't know. Erin Nichols, Fox News at 9.